Hello, what's up, guys? My name is Gazan Frali, and today in this video, I am going to show you how you can change background of your header on scroll using Elementor and Elementor Pro. Now, this is an other video in the playlist of Elementor header tutorials. If you want to learn more techniques about headers in Elementor, I would recommend you to watch the other videos in my playlist. So, if you are excited to learn how to change background in sticky header on scroll in Elementor, let's get started. So, the first thing that you need to do is to go to your dashboard. And from your dashboard, go to the templates. In the templates, click on this all. And from here, click on add new. And then click select header and name it as changing background color on scroll. And click on create template once you will click on create template elementor page builder will start loading so once it will get loaded next thing that you need to do is to click on this plus icon and choose this two columns template and from here click on this first column and edit column button and then choose a width of 25 percent and the second column will automatically become 75% of width. And then in here, what I want to do is to drop the image widget. And in this image widget, choose your logo. So in my case, this is my logo. And in the second column, I want to have the navigation. I already have navigation stylized in the header. So I'll quickly copy that navigation and I'll paste that navigation in this header so copy and paste it here so this is not visible so let me add a background color so now you can see we have a navigation items with white background uh, with white text color and we have a logo the whiter version and I'll align it towards the left it's like this so the next thing that you need to do is to add some padding on the top and on the bottom so I'll add 1% padding on the top and 1% padding on the bottom once that is done, the next thing that you need to do is to add some custom CSS. Now you do not need to understand the custom CSS. I'll provide you a quick code snippet that you can use for this purpose. So I'll copy this code and I'll paste this course code in here. Now when the next thing I need to do is to go to this motion effects and click on sticky and on the top and for the offset effect offset I would like to keep it on 100 pixels so now you can see we have a transparent header let me quickly remove the color now you can see we have a transparent header and when we scroll down we have a solid background now you can change background to anything you like if you go to advanced tab and custom css color here so what you need to do is to simply replace this color code with your own color code and if you want to change the menu text color change that menu text color here so the next thing that you need to do just because this is a transparent header so i'll go to advanced tab and unlink this chain icon and I'll add some negative margin in here and I'll click publish and add a condition entire site and save and close I already have a header created using Elementor that is why which is creating a conflict so I'll click on theme builder and from here 
I'll choose the header and I want to remove this permission from here and now for our new logo which is changing background color on scroll I'll click on edit condition and it should be entire site save and close and if no we'll go to front end of our website you can see there that our header is transparent and if we scroll down we have a solid background header you can adjust the spacing any way you like but you can see we have a white border above in here so we need to add some negative margin in the header so I'll once again click on edit with elementor and from here go to advanced tab and I'll add some negative margin and I think I'll need to add padding in pixels so probably 10 pixels on the top and 10 pixels on bottom will work so I'll click update and if I refresh the website on front end so I think so So if I refresh the website on front end now, you can see we have a transparent header and when we scroll down, we have a solid background. So this is how you can change the background on scroll and streaky header using Elementor and Elementor Pro. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and click on bell icon so that you will always get notified whenever I upload a new video on the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.